and ready to go. There's a number. There are a number of things that you can do. So unfortunately, I'm really sorry. Um, I also wanted to show you kind of how I keep track. I am uh, just like an old lady with her, with her, uh, you know. Cr I have a craft bag that has um, all my stuff. The three things that are the most useful for making these things You don't have to know HTML to do this. You don't have to have a high speed internet connection. And that's basically all you need. Um, I also carry around uh, various papers and um, with different patterns and also a little folder of things that I find on the street or images that I like that I cut out from magazines or pieces of text that I think are interesting, you know, that I just you know, copy and print out. So that, that can help too, especially if you're, you know, if you are going to be assembling it, you know, elsewhere. I'll carry this thing around. I like to actually put things together at, at the copy shop, so I like to mess with, play with the copy and, you know, shrink and enlarge images or make them, you know, kind of alter them differently. So for five, you know, less than five dollars, you too could have a scene maker's art kit. Does anyone have any questions? I feel like, or anything that, or any experience that you've had that you'd like to share? Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yeah. Um, like with putting um, pictures of things, like, you know, magazine clippings or newspaper clippings, into your zine, is there any kind of like copyright thing that you need to know about? Copyright um, that you need to know about? Yeah, I mean, like. you should care about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone, you know, getting in trouble for doing that, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, I've never, I mean, I guess technically, maybe you shouldn't, but I've never heard of like Time Warner. Then whoever had it.